Salt Lake City stalled talks over the highly controversial inland port are back on today. This morning, Speaker Greg Hughes and Senator Jim DeBacchus announced their bipartisan plan on what's being called the largest economic development project in the state. While some believe it's a step in the right direction, News 4 Utah's Haley Higgins explains why it's upsetting others. Well, last month, negotiations broke down between the state and the city. Governor Herbert scrapped any plans for a special session, but the door was opened again today at a meeting here at the Capitol. Unlikely political allies, Speaker Hughes and Senator DeBacchus, find common ground on the inland port. Framework they admit isn't perfect, but reignites the conversation. But if we can do this, we think this can happen more broadly and we can get this thing uh, working the way it needs to work, frankly. During the legislative session, lawmakers set aside approximately 30 square miles of Salt Lake City's northwest quadrant for a massive import-export hub. The city is screwed. So my job, as I see it, is to come together with Greg to, to hash this out between us and let a hundred other discussions and let's get this law changed. You're watching Inside Utah Politics. The duo began negotiations while appearing together on Inside Utah Politics. Inland Port, a big hot topic yes. here in the state of Utah. And continued discussions in the News for Utah parking lot. Among compromises, the Salt Lake International Airport would remain separate and Great Salt Lake wetlands would be removed. Salt Lake County leaders are still concerned over land use authority and tax increments. The devil is always in the details. Environmental activists loudly voice their concerns over air quality. And that is unacceptable on, from several perspectives. Then get it, get, get with the people and get it worked out. While critics say it's far from perfect, City Council Chairwoman Erin Mendenhall appreciates the reopened discussion. In any true negotiation, all parties need to come somewhere towards the middle, and I think that this was a, them putting a point on the map to say, let's meet here. In Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, News 4, Utah. Hughes and Bacchus are denying any political motivation for discussing a compromise for the Inland Port Authority.